What is going on guys, Juno Sloth here, hopefully we'll be back to a more regular schedule pretty soon, but I just wanted to bring you back to a series that I haven't done for a while now, my main and mini attack, basically showcasing you my war attacks, whether they succeed or fail, and all of these attacks happened on the same day, so you can see the bases flashing up on the background with my troop composition, let's dive straight into it with my Town Hall 11 account, so I've literally just moved to Town Hall 11, I have the ground Grand Warden at level 2, but other than that I have Town Hall 10 troops, so I'm coming at this base from the east side, making sure to take down the enemy queen first and then breaking into the base itself, made sure to use the wall breakers inside the rage spell to help as well, and you can see how we're just going to slowly let the queen take out a lot of the defences on the side here, and the aim is to get to the Town Hall in the centre as well, but I do have Valkyries and a jump spell for that. But we do need to create the funnel, this base is designed to send your troops around the side. So with the queen charge which we're doing here, just keeping an eye on her health and using the rage bell as necessary, she can slowly move around these defences and I can back that up with my king and you'll also see that I have some bowlers. Now I tend to send in a P.E.K.K.A first, that absorbs a lot of the damage, also tends to draw the fire of the eagle artillery, but you'll see I get lost with the clan castle troops here i have to divert my focus put the poison spell on them and it means that the pecker loses a lot of health where normally i would have the king and the bowlers coming right through in order to help take out some of the defenses from that as well so could have been a little bit more efficient in that area but it, not to worry the troops are moving forward taking out this huge gap now if i sent the valkyries in from where i initially broke the wall they would head to the air defense up on the right hand side so i need to bring them in where I brought in the ballers. That means that you can see the funnel is entirely set. I have the jump spell to access the core and then also a rage spell to help the Valkyries. They get right in the middle of them defenses and before you know it, the town hall goes down. You still have the troops on the outside helping to pick up the percent and you'll see at this point for just moving into a town hall 11, virtually a town hall 10 attack and a town hall 11, that is what you're aiming for. Getting the two stars and a decent percentage that's a success so that we can save some of our higher guys attacks in order to attempt for the three star attack. So a nice attack on my main account, let's flip across to my mini account and this is the base I was up against for my first attack. So you'll see it is a Town Hall 9 but it's, it's basically a Town Hall 8 because there's, there's no expos built, the Archer Queen's not there. I'm luring the Clan Castle which does have that extra troop inside, luckily it's all balloons. Now the air defense are all within the center of the base and there's that huge core so I'm going to aim to get Valkyries and Bowlers into there to take that out. Now the Clan Castle being all balloons means it's quite easy to take out with a double poison. You can see I take a couple of seconds just to analyse where I'm at, but that is going to be key in this raid. Make sure you watch until the end, you'll see just how important them couple of seconds will be. So the idea is that once you have the two poisons down, just drop in a barbarian, we'll make sure to keep the balloons inside, and for five or six troop space and the two poisons, it is definitely worth taking out the clan castle troops. A couple of golems come in alongside wizards behind to create the funnel. Once I've analysed where the fire of this mortar is going, I can safely bring in my wall breakers to open the outside of the wall. I then use the elixir pump at the north to make sure my valkyries and bowlers go exactly where I want them to. And once the defences are distracted, I can safely bring in a couple of more wall breakers to access the area by the core. At this point, everything is moving to plan. All of my troops are heading into the core of the base. The Valkyries do tend to run ahead and you could see the potential for giant bombs behind the town hall. That's why I had that initial heal spell down, followed by the rage spell, which allows the bowlers to do massive amounts of damage to the defenses just on the other side of the core as well. I then had that next heal spell down to try and help maintain my troops in the center before bringing in balloons surgically to the different defenses on the outside. Now I obviously did try and target the archer towers first but I was a little bit thin on balloons over here to the west and you'll see that they don't get this archer tower down. Now that's basically because most of my troops in the core moved across to the east and distracted the defences over on that side but I only really had my king over on the west and once he went down that archer tower took out them balloons. I have plenty of troops spread around the base taking out 
the trash buildings on the outside, so I have barbarians on the west, wizards right around the south and the east. And as my troops move over to this archer tower, the balloon just doesn't quite take it out due to that air mine. Bola comes along and absolutely wrecks it, but then we still have this cannon. It's not going to be the end of the world because I have two columns there distracting it. And at this point, I thought I was still pretty good. I have a wizard in the center there along with the bola, a couple of wizards on the outside along with the barbarians and they're all closing in on these few structures i was pretty confident i still had it but you'll see that one of the wizards here decides to stand and do nothing check out the one at the back who decides to have a break i'm pretty sure it would have just made it even more agonizing i don't think they would have got through that dark elixir drill 99% that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes if I hadn't have spent that time staring at the screen before I put the poison spells in it might have been a different story that's where every second and every efficiency of your raid really does count guys. So moving on to the next one I was attacking their number two there's quite a lot of structures at the bottom here I can snipe off so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that I have a minion over on the west and the east with two baby dragons right down to the south made sure to put them in so that they split up slightly and took out more structures and then again I have a queen walk coming in from the west side of the base. Just using the rage spells in order to keep her alive and I'm just going to let that queen move up to the north before I reinforce things with my ballers. As my queen moves up through these structures I'll open up another gap in the wall that will allow my king and ballers to come through but also provide access for my valkyries to get straight into the middle. In they all come alongside the level 2 Grand Warden just to give them that health boost. The clan castle troops come out which is all minions so the poison spell is going to take them out but I have used the queen's ability because my healers are going down rather quickly and a raid spell will help to push my bowlers forward. Now I put the jump spell in I thought that was pretty good placement for the Valkyries gives them access over to the expos and then to the middle you'll see that they take out these expos but then they get crushed with splash damage as they have to punch their way through the wall and they are at half health by the time they get through there so agonizingly it means that they go down rather quickly and they only get the town hall down to about half health had they have took the jump spell i think it might have been a different story the queen then gets hung up on skeletons then goes for the air defense and it allows the eagle artillery to take her out so we're not going to get that town hall unfortunately again it doesn't quite go to plan on that previous raid i think better efficiency in using my poison spells would have got me the three star in this one just slightly different placement of the drum spell i think would have been enough to get me the two star but what do you guys think i certainly don't claim to be the best attacker in the world always welcome to feedback what would you have done to my raid here in order to help you get the two star so let's move on to the final replay of this video which is again my town hall 8 using the drag loon method in order to try and take out this base this was a second attack, one of our clan mates had already attacked it and I knew there was a Tesla over here by the builder's hut so I decided to put a balloon straight on it. I thought I'd just need to use the one to be honest but we needed to use two. I then zap quake the air defense down in the south and I was pretty confident I would get the air sweeper here as well because normally you can take out the adjacent building to the one that you're zap quaking depending on where you place the lightning spell. I didn't get it so it means that this raid is going to be a little bit tougher because I'm attacking into the air sweeper and trying to get these two air defense but I do almost overpower this base. So I've tried to funnel the dragons as best I can using the army camps which are always good buildings to set up a funnel with just to bring them straight down towards the air defense. I then have the rage spell to help push them through and the haste spell in order to push the balloons, my castle balloons, onto that air defense. You'll see that they do split up, the balloons take out the air defense on the right and then the dragons take out the air defense on the left and at this point I already used my king earlier on in the raid in order to distract the archer towers initially so I just need to make sure my dragons get through the rest of these buildings but there's only really the archer tower at the very south. The balloons have done a brilliant job in moving around the side of the base taking out that tesla over to the east and the air sweeper is still giving the dragons a little bit of an issue but it's going to go down in a second and then they will slowly close in on this archer tower and it's just a case of watching my dragons take out the rest of this base. So I hope you enjoyed this episode purely just bringing you my war attacks showing you some of the strategies I'm using on my new to town hall 11 and town hall 8 account. 
Please do provide any feedback on my attacks, it's always appreciated. But that finishes it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth, and until next time, peace out, guys. Stay tuned for more Clash of Clans.